Welcome to Shorty Supercoach. The Pracky games are all done and dusted, so it's now up to us. We've seen all we're going to see. It's really now deciding how we're going to go with our sides. And if you want a bit of a wrap up of all the weekend's Pracky games, I smashed out a video. Um, it probably went up at about midnight or so last night, uh, but everything you need to know is in there, so feel free to check it out. And one of the big talking points from that is Zach Williams. You know, it happened at the start of the weekend. Laid that bump, you know, got off the ground, collected Hunter Clark. Not too heavily, but he did, I believe, have a little bit of concussion symptoms at some point, which has led to him receiving a, a one-week suspension. So he's out for round one, of course. Now, do we turf him? What do we do? I'm holding him. As the title suggests, I'm holding the faith. It's just one week. And I'll, I'll tell you why. Now, it's all in the price tag. Now... I'm a massive fan of Zach Williams, maybe more than some. So perhaps it's a little bit of my own um, inner bias because I had him in the must-have video at the start of the year. I've raved about him time and time again. I thought he dominated the first half. He seemed to play a little bit more forward in the second half. They sort of tried some other guys through there and, and Harry Mackay went off. So the structures and things sort of changed. But he'll be a mid this year, we know that. And I thought he couldn't have been more impressive. He could have kicked three or four in the end as well from the midfield. So I think he's clearly a top six defender. And the reason I'm keeping him is because you won't get him at a cheaper price. He's about 456, 458 or something like that. You won't get him at a cheaper price this year. So I'm happy to wear it for one week. It's a bit annoying, you know, it's frustrating, but let's play out the scenario. So everyone who, who trades him out, Okay, you trade him out, you get whoever it is into your side, and you want Zach Williams back. I think everyone acknowledges that we want Zach Williams in our team at some stage this year. So when's the earliest you can probably get him into your team? To get him into your team, you're going to need a rookie to develop to, you know, 280k or over 300,000, and you're going to want him to be within reach. But the fact is, he is going to be on be beyond 500k for most of the year. Unless he has some sort of injury affected game or something like that, I'm shocked if he doesn't average at least high 90s and I'm anticipating a three figure average. So there's a chance he could spend a lot of his time this year between 520 and maybe 570,000. You know, it's not beyond the realms of possibility, particularly if he catches fire. So I'm thinking for a rookie to even develop into that price tag you're probably looking at, I don't know, three to five price rises, which is, you know, starts rising around round three. Probably the earliest you can get him is anywhere from round seven to nine. And, you know, that's a fair chunk of the season for a guy that I think is one of the best options in the back line. So that's why I'm going to keep him, because I think it's one week. Yeah, it'll sting that first week, and I'll have to play an extra rookie on the field, and that suck a little bit, but... If it was Rory Laird or if it was Tom Stewart or something like that, a guy who's priced in the 500s, a guy who's priced where they should be, I'd just change him. You know, I'd just trade him out because he's about at the price we expect and we'll get him at that price when we want to or thereabouts. Where I think Zach Williams is one of the more underpriced premiums that we've got in the game. You know, I think he's about sixty to 80,000 unders and I feel as if he's, you know, going to go up by about that price very early on in the season. So if you're comfortable with getting him whenever you want um, throughout the season, if you get rid of him, just know that you're going to be paying at least something that begins in a five. So, um, and you might not care. It might be, ah, oh, it's 40, 50,000 bucks. Who cares? But I know from experience, sometimes 50,000 K, 80,000 K, that can be crucial, particularly when we start upgrading and downgrading. I tell you what, there's plenty of times over the years that I've gone, what I wouldn't do to just have another 50,000 just to get this guy or just to not have to trade this guy this week. So it does matter. I know it doesn't seem like much and you're sort of penny pinching, but it does matter. And I think he's going to be one of the top defenders. So I'm happy to wear it. And uh, yeah, I look forward to him hopefully becoming slightly more unique because he was super popular so I'll be watching his ownership with interest. But um, yeah, so anything you uh, would like to add to that matter, feel free. Um, and I'll be back with plenty of content.
throughout the week. And, and look, we'll go live as well. I'm just sort of sorting through when I can do that. Um, so I'll talk to you guys about that soon when I get a chance. Hopefully you got into the league. We've still got one more league, which I'll announce in that live session. So thanks again. Let me know what you're going to do with Zach Williams. And I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.